All right, y'all. We're going to get into a actual love reading. I know that last one went more spiritual and financial abundance and career and all those things. So we're going to get into an actual love reading. One moment, just got to bun my hair up. Got hot in here. Um, all right. Starting with the intuitive messages for this love reading. Is this Breathe Again by um, Tony Braxton? If I never make love to you once again. If I never hear I love you now and then. Right? Please understand. If love ends. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't, I don't know what that... But it's, it's, it, it is Tony. I t <laughs> it's Tony Braxton Breathe Again. Somebody... Somebody messed, somebody messed up. Somebody messed up bad, boy. Like, you know how somebody, how people say never say never? This person was a damn on that opposite side of never should have said never. Like, this person will never leave me. This person will never do me wrong or, you know, this person will always be around. Th whoever did some shit that they are regretting, they feel like they can't breathe without you. They can't fathom never running into you again in life. They can't think of never having a warm hug from you again. Like, it was like all fun and games until the shit got real. And now they have to really, like, digest the fact that they may, they really may never see you, hear from you, get an opportunity to be around you ever again in life. And that hurts. That hurts. That hurts like somebody who can't breathe, like, like somebody having an asthma attack, like... This must have just, I heard an epiphany. So this must, this must have just dawned on this person over this last moon cycle that you're really not playing games, whoever you are. Like you're, I'm hearing you, the last time or whatever they feel from you energetically or the last time that they connected with you, it was a very like disgusted face or a disgusted tone or just the energy that you were giving off was that you were disgusted with them. The way they treated you, the way they acted, and in their eyes at that time, I feel like they still had the rose colored glasses on. So they still thought that their actions were warranted for whatever reason. OK, whether that's I went towards what my heart wanted at the time. That's the first thing that came through. Um, I had to make it right with my kid's mother or my kid's father or I had to make it right with my spouse and really get divorced the right way. And next thing you know, they're on round two of their marriage. You know, what I mean, type of thing. It was it's something like that. All right. Six cards here, spirit, for love and romance. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, and wanting to date. Let me just get all six out here. Because I'm sure we about to get a storyline. Uh, the snake is here, y'all. So let's just get prepared. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, looking over your shoulder. And like I said, the other woman. Somebody made a badass decision. Flirting being open to other people i'm hearing loose this person was just loose and I, I feel they were loose for the type of person that would have been their fantasy right i always wish that i could have dated a rapper that's you know i wish i could always wish i could date you know a female ceo like i don't know what the hell this person had some type of dream and fantasy that they wanted to be able to live out and somebody showed them a little bit of attention and they ran towards it but I feel like this person ne would have never shown them attention. This snake would have never showed your person attention had they not been loving on you the way that they were or as infatuated with you. You don't know this. You don't know that this you might you might know that your person was like really infatuated with you. This would have been right before they ghosted you this last time. Y'all must have been on one accord. Y'all were finally starting to make momentum in the relationship or the communication or healing old wounds. This person was starting to either look better, do better, something like that. And this snake, which could be somebody's friend or someone's close relative or something like that, this snake ends up seeing that this person is looking better, got new car, got new this, got new that. So it's like you clean them up. You cleaned up this woman or this man and it caught the eye of this snake who would have never who never gave this person the opportunity before. Now, all of a sudden, they wanted to give them the opportunity because they they couldn't see what you saw the potential. 
unfortunately, you did fall for that potential, hoping that this person was going to reach new heights with y'all together. Now they're watching, looking, and stalking. And like I said, this person has had their eye on the snake, and I feel vice versa. But this snake energy, I feel like is someone who is upper echelon in one way or the other and would have never given your, your person the, the time of day had they not been cleaned up by you. And that cleaning up can be, again, it could be finances. It could be their style of address. It could be the way that they articulate themselves. Like maybe you didn't allow your person to just talk to you with slang and mix up your, your, and your. Like, <laughs> Sorry, y'all. That's one of my pet peeves. Like can't stand talk, texting somebody who don't know how to spell. Jesus, it's automatic correction right there. Like, sorry. <laughs> that was a personal moment. I apologize about the inconvenience. Yeah, it's done. Breakup, separation, stopping the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. There, I just don't, this person knows there's no coming back from this. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not even looking at the damn screen. I don't even, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. This person knows there's not, there's no coming back. They can come back and try to flirt with you. Yeah, they ran from this. Like I said, they ghosted. They listened to their ego. They ran towards this snake energy, whatever it is. And I am, I'm going to be honest. Sometimes I go, oh, that third party could be a bottle of liquor. That third party could be any toxic trait. No, this here, I just heard this is ass. <laughs> Do y'all remember my house party? I'm sorry, y'all. One moment. Y'all remember my house party? I think it's house party three, where the grandma thought she was watching the Ninja Turtles and they put it in and it was a porno. She said, that ain't no Ninja Turtles. That's ass. That's what I just heard. Like, this is no fluff ass cartoon story. This person really, like, did some, some narcissistic backstabbing shit for ass. Who's ever ass? But yeah. Hammer, they sabotaged this situation, but yet they want to work on it. I do feel like this person wants to be able to work on it. Yeah, but have faith that love is coming for you, my love. Or they're trying to have faith that love's going to come back around between the two of you. Man. Yeah. Interested in talking. Yep. Interested in talking, conversing, text, email, hovering. This person wants to be. Yeah, they're, they're keeping their eye on you. I just heard we can fix it, though. Mm. If y'all believe y'all can fix it with this person. But I'm going to tell you right now, warning shot, the snake energy is still around. Whether they're in a committed relationship or this person is just in and out of that person's life or this person is just stalking this person, wanting them to come back. There's, a, there's still a third party energy around here. I want a true jumper. I didn't feel energy off that. I didn't feel it off that either, Spirit. Give me a true jumper. Not give me three. It's the rudeness for me. <laughs> well, didn't I say? Still going on. On over there on Snake Road. One, two, three, Snake Road. Still got the narcissist energy. Self-absorbed, one-sided relationship and love bombing. They're only keeping an eye on you because they want to love bomb you back into another cycle. Spirit said endings bring new beginnings. Change, growth, liberation, and transform. And shutting, sudden change and shocking news is going to be what? Because I already seen this card at the bottom of the deck. Is that you're getting a new soulmate, an actual soul co uh, contract, partnership, agreement, someone who wants to live a life with you. Yeah, after the sadness, after the separation. So let's be clear. Spirit's not saying, oh, I'm bringing you a soulmate that's your old person that's all healed. I would love to tell that story. I'm telling y'all, I would love to tell that from, from the bottom of my heart. I really would. This person on the board is still running around with a snake, keeping an eye on you being a narcissist that sabotaged the situation, broke up somebody with someone who who they truly had romance with. So the shocking change is that you're ending this so that a new soulmate can come in to heal the heartache and heartbreak that this person caused. So I'm going to just blatantly say it. Y'all know how auntie can get when I'm giving raw truths. Please stop going into the readings asking if the old person's coming back. And then late night being upset that that person's in your energy. You opened the door when you went into that reading saying, I want to know about that old person. Let Close the door. Let them figure it out. And if God wants to bring them back whole and healthy, that's going to happen. But this situation right here, this story, this is not that. At least not right now. Y'all got the axe, <laughs> the coffin, and the separation card. 
this person said that they broke this situation apart, but they, I'm not seeing, you know, romance. I'm not seeing love me again. I'm not seeing that here. That's not what's going on. And I just got to keep it funky. Let that old person be where they at. And I'm here and let them figure it out. So they may call you wanting your help with, I'm, her, I'm hearing taxes, financial things. Some of them don't know how to choose their benefits. So these would have been things that you would have helped them with. Like they may call you like, remember when we used to grocery shop, you used to get these things. Oh, shit. Okay. If your person from the past starts calling you, texting you, connecting with you, if they can, if they're not blocked, and they're asking about stuff that y'all used to keep around the house, that's because they want to put it in the house for this person. Trigger warning. I'm so serious. <laughs> it could be an, it could be candles y'all used to burn it could be certain detergent that y'all used to use that's some that's some silly backhanded shit okay i'm sorry i'm that might trigger somebody that might trigger somebody if that if your person is called and they just wanted to know or y'all were reminiscing about and then they were like yeah and that one thing you used to have or that one thing you used to do i feel like they were only asking because they want to do it with this snake energy. That's fucked up. Four of Pentacles holding back. This person's not giving. This person is not giving to the situation. They're keeping an eye out. Like the Four of Pentacles, as you see. Keeping an eye on something, but not giving anything. Got both their damn arms wrapped around their pentacle. They're not about to give no love. I'm hearing they're probably not going to give no energy. Four of Wands. 44. Y'all might have been getting fours. 404 Atlanta in the building. Ooh, not kick my cards over. Rudeness. Why is the Four of Wands here? Okay. Why is the Four of Wands here? King of Cups. One more. <laughs> Six of Wands with a Three of Pentacles. Strength and the Lovers. This person may already be in some type of relationship with somebody. Someone who maybe they thought they could have better success. I don't want to say better success with. Maybe someone who they, they truly thought they could build the ultimate life with and have a serious victory with. One more. Knight of Cups. Yeah. Someone who they offered. They didn't, they didn't bring a lot to the table, but this person had a lot. Like I said, a rich rapper, a rich model. This person had something. The snake had something that your person felt like would have paid out more if they got with them, right? I could probably get on and get signed if I get with the snake. I could probably get ex get my business ex exposed if I get with the snake. It was something business oriented or something because this person didn't come with a lot, but yet they're, I feel like they're thinking that they're going to get a lot more on the back end. So if they offer love to someone who has things, the reason why is because they have things. They got pool or something but the high priestess your energy you already knew that this person was i'm here moving funny like you already knew that this person was moving funny acting funny like you was just waiting for them to do whatever they were going to do or pack their shit and leave or yell out i'm cheating on you whatever the hell it was like you already knew so you man you started manifesting in a brand manifesting a brand new life anyways and took your own leap of faith towards your own life so, yeah, this person's fucked up in the game because you're the high priestess magician all along. Anything you set your mind to, you make happen. It's because you haven't been exposed to more, to manifest more. But now that you have, oh, baby, I'm hearing again, yacht life. Like, I feel like this person going to be rolling around on those little, uh, excuse me, what I see is somebody on those, rain, uh, king, uh, king of pentacles is coming for you. Someone who's going to be your your energetic match, especially when it comes to finances. So if you found yourself maybe giving um, to the old person, like giving them money, showing them how to do simple things in life, this you're coming into a King of Pentacles energy or you're getting your soulmate is a King of Pentacles energy. Someone who has their life established, someone who has like businesses, generating wealth, looking to grow spiritually, looking to be someone of an upstanding person and not just in my community, but in my family, things like that. That's who's coming towards you. Um, but yeah, y'all manifested it. Y'all are manifesting a brand new life. And this situation is just one of the many, I feel like lessons that go into your book, right? 
It's just another book on your shelf kind of thing. And it's not another, I'm hearing it's not another chapter. So someone needs to hear this. We're not putting another chapter in this old book. This book, this part of your life, who you were before this horrible ass heartache and heartbreak, that's closed. And it goes into, and it goes basically into your Akashic records. It's now time to manifest who you are or who you truly feel you are at this point in time. After the heartache, after the healing, after the reassurance, after the brand new start, who are you? And that's where, that's, I mean, it's, it's up to y'all to interpret who y'all are, but I think that's beautiful. All right, let's see what needs to be surrendered out of this situation. I'm going to get a few of the butterfly kisses to see what y'all have to say to one another. Um, and then we'll end with the angels. Sorry, y'all, I'm not looking at the screen, but I, I truly uh, appreciate y'all being here. <laughs> uh. Those who say, so mote it be, or as above, so below, when you're manifesting, specifically, I'm talking to you. When you're manifesting, when you're praying, if you say, so mote it be, or as above, so below, with some type of either movement or something, maybe you put your, light your candle when you say it, something like that, just know that your, your manifestations, your affirmations, they're moving, and I'm hearing moving quickly. Check your mail mailboxes and your email boxes for any type of news and updates seven to ten days or the seventh and the tenth okay seven to ten days or the seventh and the end the tenth check your mail voicemails things like that okay i'm hearing specifically keep an eye on the actual mailbox to your home your apartment whatever that may be what needs to be surrendered here so that all parties can move forward oh, to their higher purpose and call in one more here, Spirit. Give me one more card. Thank you. And surrender the idea that you can fix someone. You can't fix this person. They have to want to walk away from the toxic narcissistic energy. You can't fix that person. Um, it is, it's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Surrender obsessive thinking. If you are, if you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. And this is for those who go into readings wanting to know whether or not their person's going to heal and when they're going to heal and in what state they're going to get out when, where, and how your person's going to heal, and if you should shift your whole life to be in the right place at the right time for them to heal, babies, allow that person on their journey to do what they need to do the same way you were on your journey and you, need, you did what you needed to do, okay? And surrender to your intuition. Time to tune into your voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashings, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. All right, let's see what the butterfly kisses have. Whew. These are going to be messages of love, lust, or romance. Could also clarify who this person is. If anyone is curious, I do still have, I think, like five decks. I think that's all I have left is five decks left that have not been purchased. Um, they are in my Etsy shop, and the link, I believe, is in the bio. All right. If you're looking for a personal reading with me, that link should also be in the bio. If not, just send me a message. I'll send you the link. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. I'm also getting Robin Hood vibes. So maybe this person didn't come from a lot. But yet at the end of the day, Robin Hood was still a thief, right? Even though he felt like he was giving back what he stole. All right, let me get... Okay, well, that came right out. I'm missing that spark. Someone went out thinking that they would find something more. They intercepted another, like that snake, but nothing like the spark that y'all had. Really? Okay. Initials of Z or L could be your name, their name, or the snake's name. Autumn, September, October, or November, season of the year that something significant did or will occur. Could also be around the time of someone's birthday or a really big memory, like maybe y'all went um, pumpkin patching or some something like that. And I can still feel inside you, still, still feel you inside me, wink, wink. Well, maybe this person is saying, I can still feel me inside of you. So 
Reverse it as need be. Somebody's inside somebody reminiscing about the old gushes, okay? That macaroni and cheese, okay? And I don't mean it like that, but you get what I'm talking about. All right. Ask more questions. Things aren't clear for a reason. Ask more questions, the right questions. You need to know what's not being said or what hasn't been brought to the surface. I just heard there's not enough truth to build a life here. This person doesn't open up enough for you to be able to build here. Their walls got to come down. 18 to 25 could be current age or the age that this situation happened. Could have been the age that y'all met each other. I'm hearing the first time, like the first, the first, um, what am I thinking? The first cycle, I feel like the first time y'all met could have been between those ages. All right, we're just going to get a few more and I'm, well, we know that they're still stalking. They ride by your home because they miss your face. They miss your shape. Somebody literally takes either their mom's car, their sister's car, or a friend's car to come and sit around your neighborhood to watch you or your home. Not all of y'all. All I don't want all of y'all scaling the damn walls acting like 007 because you think you're getting stalked, okay? <laughs> Everybody's not being stalked, but for those who know that your person knows where you live and possibly could ride past, I feel like they're riding around in someone else's car. So if you feel like that looked like her sis their sister car, that looked like his mama car. It, it probably is. Um, I'm always in the mood to make you come. Again, out of all the cards in this deck of love, everything is coming out with them missing you, missing your face, missing your body. Abuse is never okay. Indicator that someone is abusive or being abused. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, or otherwise. Abuse is never okay. Seek assistance, help from someone you trust. And oh, hey, little guy, there you are. We don't want no eeny, weeny, teeny, weeny, shriveled, short dick. Mm. All right. Well, mm. I'm going to just sit that right there. Okay. <laughs> Y'all know I don't like to talk about that card, but all right. That's it. That's all I got. All right. Initials B or O could be you or this person. Y'all could now be between the ages of 39 and 55, but you might have started this between 18 and 25. Right, because this this to me feels like cycles, like in and out, in and out type of energy. Okay, and um, <laughs> calm down and look again. You might just be making too much of this situation. Slow down. Take one more look from a clear mind and a calm soul. At the bottom of the deck is sex. Yes, friendship. Sure, relationship. Nah, someone is flighty, fickle, and non-committal. Beware of their love bombing, gaslighting, narcissism, and abuse, mental, physical, emotional, or spiritual. So let's be clear. I truly do believe that narcissists abuse. It doesn't have to be physical. You ain't got to raise your hand to give somebody some type of trauma, right? This card here is the card that I made to confirm that this person is okay with the situationship, maybe even a friendship, but they're not looking for commitment, at least not with y'all connection. And possibly because they're in a situation where they feel like eventually, eventually it's going to pay out dividends. Like they're going to network with the right person and, and be able to make millions or I don't know what this snake energy got over your person. They must have sold them a dream about something. And your person is holding on to the fact that one day I'm going to get that platinum album or one day something, something, something's going to happen. You yeah yeah I'm not going I'm not going deeper. It said I want you I don't need you and it also said springtime. So you and this person may have connected at some point in time in this past spring, and you let this person know I don't need you in my life. I wanted you. I wanted to love you. I wanted to be a part of a life with you. I wanted to us to have kids and all those things. I didn't need you. Your person that left needs this snake. Whatever they signed on to, why, whatever their reason for ghosting you and going towards this, they now need it. So if this person gave them access to all the accounts and the snake done changed everything and put it under their name only or some shit, I don't know. I'm getting too many scenarios for that, but they're waiting for whatever they invested in with this snake to pay out. And I feel like they thought that they would be able to, you know, again... 
network or whatever it was and then be able to run back to you. But they got caught up. They got caught up in the web or they got caught up in the lifestyle. By the time they looked up, you were healed. You were gone. You were on your spiritual journey. All right, spirit. Two cards in the bottom of the deck. Thank you. Well, don't get no clearer than that, my loves. Cut your cords. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. Like I said, this is a this this here. This is cycles with an S. And as long as you're possibly those who are still tapping into this person's energy, you're also tapping into this snake. I just want to I just want to put that out there. All right. Just a heads up. You are a powerful light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings in loving service to the divine. So anyone who says I, I call on the divine white light of protection, it really is working, my loves. You really are protected. You really are a, a light worker. And this could have been a twin flame. Damn. Twin flame connection. The answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. So this could have been your twin flame who decided they didn't want to come on the journey. I know y'all probably have heard me say this a million times. And it's that's their choice. God gives us free will to make a choice. And we can choose to abide by the contract or not. The same way human beings that have contracts that are signed, you can abide by it or you can, or, or not. But if you decide not to, well, what happens is that shut, sudden change and shocking news is that, oh, okay, well, not a problem. Your person gets a new soulmate. And they're going to love on them. Something serious. Since you want to stay where you're at with the snake, I'm going to take your person and go give them a, a soulmate. There go Archangel Michael again. So heavy Archangel Michael vibes. Heavy Archangel Michael vibes. All right, my loves. That's all I got. Cut those damn cords. Stop. If you feel a reading coming and your old person that's rolling around with this snake, this narcissist, male or female, pops up in your energy, mm -mm, turn that damn reading off. We ain't in the mood for that shit. That's like turning on one of them spotlights saying, I'm over here. Mm -mm, we don't want no more of this. So just a heads up, I don't believe the person from the past is coming back. That twin flame got to be left in the cesspool of their own decisions. And you got to move and, and spirit is asking you to move on in your healed energy so that a soulmate who can love on you for who you are now and continue to learn you and love on you for who you're going to be later. There's something about maybe this person loved you between that 18 and 25. But once you, once life got real and you had kids or, you know, real shit happens when you get older. Right. You go through deaths. You go through so much. Maybe this person wasn't 10 toes down for that, but they was 10 toes down for like the light, fluffy, airy relationship. You're getting ready to get someone who is going to, no matter what comes your way, this person, this new soulmate is going to be with you all the way. Some of y'all are going to be hesitant because maybe you haven't really experienced that before, but this soulmate is going to notice it and they're going to say something to you. That's how you're going to know that it's them. Even when y'all are starting to date, you'll be hesitant of, whether or not you want to be in their, in their company late night or some shit like that. I don't know what it is. But either way, this twin flame needs to be left right where they're at. All right? All right, y'all. I truly appreciate it. If you're just getting here, I always post all of my lives on YouTube. So please uh, toggle on over. Go ahead and swipe over to that app, that YouTube app. Um, and follow me at The Healing Butterfly. I also do other readings as well. So if any of those readings, excuse me probably have a burp if any of those readings um point out to you go ahead and tune in see what wisdom it has to give you i have other love readings spiritual healing readings so on and so forth all right a lot of energy today sending y'all lots of peace prosperity protection and paradise vibes and until we connect again make sure you take care of yourself where's the card at cut them damn cords i can't find it cut them cords <laughs> Cut the cords and take care of yourself and your soul. All right, y'all. Namaste.